and Farhan are going to Koskutra in B17. If it's still open, well, we don't know if it's open. We've seen the big massive banner saying that it's been open for about a good six months. Uh, we've just never been down to B17 to, to see if it's actually open and to see how similar it is to the UK Koskutra. And then I'm thinking they've got a Jai Hana. Uh, go there for some tea. Yeah, you didn't tell me you were thinking that. I, I told you this plan before. I said, let's go to Chai Hana, have tea, go to Kaskuta, make a day out of it, and come back. Nice. Yeah. Really we'll get, nice. Get to go to B17 for the first time uh, and show the camera because B17 seems to be really popular amongst the Pakistanis that live here and the overseas Pakistanis as they're purchasing property there. It's classed as Islamabad. But it's on the outskirts of Islamabad, so it's, it's fairly reasonably priced for somebody who wants an apartment or somewhere to live or an investment property that they want to rent out. It still has that, it holds that status of being part of Islamabad. Wow. But it's only about 10 15 minutes away from where we live. So we'll, uh, we'll show you around. I feel like I might want to live there. It's nice, but. Uh, you're gonna be if you live in there. You're gonna be stuck with random people. You don't know who they are, where they've come from, what the background is, what what job they do. You just don't know anything about them. And I know that about this guy here, and that guy, and all these guys here. The thing with where we live in Warkent is we've got a history here. We've got family here that have been here for the last fifty odd years. With B17, it's a it's a it's a place that's only been around in the last four years. Yeah, I get you. Totally get you. Oh, that's enough for now. Oh, it's so nice in here, isn't it? Quite well laid nice out. Nice and clean. I like this better than uh, phase, phase two. Yeah. Walk in <laughs> phase two is not laid out like this. This is got so currently. That is going to be one massive apartment block. Look how big that is. It doesn't look like what I would have expected a concrete jungle where there's just house upon house upon house and all the houses look the same. They've got apartment buildings that take away a lot of the house. Mm, is this the mall? I don't think it's open. Cutters in this big mall uh, so it's Maghrib time we're gonna pray and then we'll go and find cost cutter okay I just prayed had a quick peek at their food court it's quite small not a single person there but they've got about maybe 10 or 12 local food places none of the main franchises or none of the main even Pakistani franchises we've got nice shirts for me do I need shirts? So we found Koskutter. I've got to say the toilets weren't the best. They reminded me of the walk in phase 2 mall where the floor was dirty. No toilet paper. I had to pray just outside the toilet. Yeah. So it's, it's not well maintained, I would say, the toilets. My saying there's nice tops here. Let's have a look then. You show me these nice tops that I probably like. Hmm? Okay, maybe not that nice. Thank you, sir. These ones feel alright. Do I have 
love jumpers. Not really. This is like very warm and right. Yeah, it looks good. Might return. Okay. So I'm on a uh, no carb, no sugar diet at the moment. So when I lose all this water weight, I can come back and get my uh, wardrobe redone because then nothing will fit me. Mm -hmm. Well, let's go. Look, it says welcome to Pascota Premium Hypermarket. Already I can see things that I don't normally see in other shops or the stores and then at the same time I can see things that I find everywhere else in other shops, in other stores So this is Coscutter from England Coscutter, can you tell us why you decided to open here? Is it the name or is it the products? Are the products going to be imported from Europe or not? Well, when I say Europe I mean China because everything comes from China, doesn't it? So, oh, Myra wants one of these Chinese, by the way. I, I, I've got to say, the variety is good. And they seem quite stocked up. Look at this. This is the best. Save. Because they're really good uh, uh, for when you want to clean them. And they're strong. They're quite sturdy. So this here is a good size. It's only 973 rupees. Uh, so I'm going to show it Myra and see if she uh, agrees on buying it. And I think we are going to make some purchases here. I, I just didn't think we would, but the variety looks quite good. Let's see where life takes it. And they've got a food place down there. Like They're selling pizzas and cakes and stuff. No Myra, do you want this side? No car. You want this size? Yeah, I like that. 973 rupees. What have you picked up? What's uh, this? A bottle, um, you, know, a bottle, you know here you can open it and check. I checked it. Is it good? Do you want to show the viewers? You open that up whilst I show the viewers. Uh, um, nothing. We got these pans. We're going to start. Yeah. Hey, where's the bottle? Oh yeah, yeah. Mm. Looks good. You want one? No. You try it. Let's see how it is. We're going to stop using the non-stick due to the uh, harmful chemicals that they use to make it non-stick and inshallah soon we'll start with this pure steel season it and then use it should we get a, a, a like these, like these wide honey and cook them? yeah but it's steel yes. uh, and if you can't season it properly everything will stick what are you talking to like they don't speak English? no I'm just saying <laughs> that everything will stick and, and you won't be able to cook properly okay so buy it and then it's up to you you might not be able to cook in it yeah there's these wide ones here that are non-stick i think you said we're not using non-stick i know but it's, you could get it and we'll see we'll see what happens <laughs> we'll see what happens because you can't be using non-stick for a majority of your life and then think yeah tomorrow i'm i'm going to use the steel and we don't even know how to season it yet so it stops sticking yeah, does that make sense guys? Does that actually make sense? Do we need any of these small ones? No, they just need the big ones. Yeah, these are hard to clean. Unless you got a dishwasher. Use a sponge and the sponge disin disintegrates as you're washing it. But yeah, once again, I like this variety. You don't really see this in other stores. These are good. These are mats. Well, these are made out of wood. You can put your hot food straight onto it, the andi itself, the cooking pot that you're cooking in, the cooking pan or whatever. I look how they just leave everything on the floor, it looks nice. Gives it that local feel, local like market feel. Let's see if they've got market prices. So what I was talking about the bakery side, we've got cakes there, seem quite alright. Then these are the nut dry food cakes. Uh, uh, pizzas ready to put into the oven and then sandwiches that looks like an egg chicken sandwich and a chicken cucumber sandwich and then they've got burgers here and then biscuits and then fresh produce Mm -hmm. 
chicken a lot of chicken there just about this is all your pickles which looks all empty all empty can't show you anything that's where your jar is normally so the pickled vegetables that's a uh, very popular condiment here in Pakistan a delicacy you can't live without it if you're Pakistani you just cannot live without it oils and stuff what did you chuck in what's this coconut desiccated coconut <coughs> So Mara chucked in some desiccated coconut and yeah look at this this is giving the uh, pandemic vibes look at that empty shelves oh my god there's another pile on the floor here are these like abandoned trolleys I think that's how they stock up their shelves look at this so given that proper like street shop selling street vendor very well what's going on here i'm sure these are meant to be in the shelves anyways if you want some peri peri sauces right here these are all the local peri peri brands not that i've tried it but they seem all right and you get your conflicts and whatnot down there so that's all normal it's starting to look more normal now look at that They're very normal all the normal teas that you can get from anywhere and then your copies of conflicts all here yeah if you want some conflicts do you want yeah they're actually they're all do you want rice flakes <laughs> Kellogg's <laughs> Kellogg's Flakes. Mm -hmm. Anyways, did you know Kellogg's is an American brand? I've grown up thinking that you know what Kellogg's is British, but it's not. Just because we have it for breakfast every morning doesn't mean that we've colonized America. And that's the biscuits and stuff. So yeah, it's just not. I'll 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 record if I find something that's different and unique. For right now, it's just your bog standard what you find everywhere else type of stuff I mean why why have you got that logo why tell me why so we bought quite a few random things for a total of 4,000 rupees on the till I just asked the uh, the guy and the cashier and I just said um, why are all the shelves empty you know it seems like you've only just opened he was saying that they've opened for a while but they're just uh, changing the store changing where all the products are going to be laid out uh, wow they've got apartments upstairs that's all like ready people are living there and then they've got a massive block there which you can't see because there's no lighting and uh, that's going to be a new block of uh, apartments so I'm not sure if I'll be Returning to Costco, would we be returning to Costco? To would we be returning here? Uh, not until it's finished. I mean, even if it is finished, I mean, what what is it offering us? We could just drive a further half an hour from here and be at Centaurus, where uh, you know there's a massive variety. There's better parking. Look where we parked, right outside, like everyone else is. Here we go. Should we go to Chayakhana? Mm -hmm. And then uh, we'll wrap it up after that then. Chayakhana, mm. which looks fairly empty compared to the ones we've been to in Islamabad and uh, and uh, Barrier Town. So, yeah, it's very empty. So they started playing some nards. I'm assuming it's because of us, because we're the only two customers here. They do have the certain items on the menu out of stock, which is understandable because of how quiet it is. But uh, still quite cozy, still quite nice. B17 definitely 
gives you that Islamabad vibe. The people are definitely different here in terms of you know they're more city-like. Um, it's just nice little breakaway for us from Wagend uh, to come here, which is only what ten minutes away for us. Uh, and the main downtown Islamabad from here, you can get there within half an hour, depending on where you need to go, where you need to be. This is actually closer to the airport than downtown Islamabad. You will definitely get here much quicker. There's a direct route on the motorway from the airport right to B17. So that that's a massive advantage there. And it, being here it seems like people are definitely from abroad, if not worked abroad, if not from Islamabad itself just has that vibe to it whereas other places uh, like Barrier Town in Rawalpindi uh, and even where we're living in Wakend you can tell people have sort of worked their way up got a job in the city managed to afford a house and have settled down whereas the people in Islamabad seem like they've been there for generations and they just seem completely different I liked the drive here and it seems like a nice area, it's just not completed yet. So I think when it's completed, we'd like to come back. If we come out and we want to see people because there's just two of us at home and there just isn't really anybody here. So it's just like we're at home. We won't be coming back anytime soon, but eventually. I, I, I really don't think we'd be coming back here because would we rather get out, get ready to come out, and then be like, okay, we'll, we'll go halfway, we'll go to B17. We don't have to go all the way to Islam, but GG. Hmm, that's true. Can you turn up, Milchak? Sit down. What was it that you want to buy? Ah, uh, yeah, uh, Fahita Rapcha, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Thanks for joining us. Sorry, I was Mardi earlier, but uh, at uh, Costco, but you know, I was expecting to walk into Costco. Cutter. If it's called cost cutter, there's a reason. It's from Britain, and everything's cheap. But everything was the same price as all the stores, and nothing was cheap, and nothing was from Europe or China. So yeah, it's been a bit of a disappointment for me. But uh, got to make the most of it. Is uh, Pakistan? They are developing. It's the reason why it's called a developing country. They will eventually get there. And uh, hope you liked it, guys. See you in the next one. Assalamu alaikum. Bye. Bye, Peter.